Right, this is today's job. We're working back on the old barn conversion. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me doing a little reel of this detail over there. And there's the garage I'm working on. Today, we're tackling the barn, which is gonna be quite an interesting uh, little job. So the old stonework is gonna be coming down to about here, because that's what planning has allowed us to do, which is pretty good. That wall there is staying. It's like, oh, fuck out. It's like a good foot thick. Uh, that's gonna be staying. The brickwork here, that's come down because of wind. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna be chucking this up in these big nine inch blocks. That's what we like. And I'll be throwing ties out. So when someone comes back and does all the stonework, at least it'll be tied in. We're going to be tackling this wall as well. Uh, we won't be laying any of these bricks yet because they are absolutely soaking. The worse than wet blues to lay. And then we've got this wall going up, which is going to be taking the roof, a couple of steels. So that's going to be nine inch again. So plenty to go at. And just like, it's just quite a nice old build this is. 1800 this was built. Uh, the reason, I will crack on we'll work in a minute. The reason it's coming down is because, I don't know if you can see, it's got a lean on this gable and it's cracked everywhere. You can see, well, you can see straight through, you can see daylight. Uh, yeah, 12 degrees it's leaning. So it's coming down to here. Bit of an underpin, maybe. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna crack on, get some blocks laid. doing I'm throwing ties out here because even though this is going to butt up to this wall here we're going to batten all these hollow spots off concrete down it and then this is going to get bat this is going to get battened out so no damp comes through the wall Keep getting little bits of rock fall down. I can't pick one of these up without making a noise.
It's like a bad game of Jenga. <laughs> I've seen lads in America and Canada and Ireland, they lay these a lot and they throw them about with one hand like it's nothing. I don't know if they're slightly lighter. Probably not, it's probably just me, but they're heavy. So just a little check in, quarter to 11. I'm getting through compo crazy. So I'm just on my own today. Normally I've got a labor on a Friday, uh, but not today. Um, so I'm getting through compo proper quick. So I'm constantly mixing up, but it's going pretty well so far. I've got a window to set out now, going roughly where this mess is. Um, so I need to set that out. And then this is all just solid, I think anyway not really a drawing to follow so yeah so we're just getting the fifth course on but because we're already below floor level it's like the sixth so it's already quite high up so what i've done i've thrown my line on the back which was suggested to me by a lot of lads when i last laid these and then you just don't have to lift over the line so i'm probably got a time lapse now because i don't have much charge on this phone so let's crack on stones even though it's all coming down it can't come down just yet and they're all hitting my block work so every now and then you've got to get a lump hammer and sort it out the only issue is every time I whack it more comes down I don't think health and safety would like this job Right, it's just gone quarter past one. Just thought I'd do a little check in. That is pretty much done. I need some scaffold really now. Uh, so we've got eight courses on there. There is a footing underneath this, it's a subfloor, but then as well as that, we did dig a footing. So there is a footing in for that. So that's all sorted. I'm going to come along here and do all this block work now. I've got loads of windows to set out. So I'll be doing that in a bit. And what I'm going to do, I'll probably because the brickwork's not done yet, I will probably run it out dry, brickwork, because these windows are 950, so that don't work. Does it work? We'll see in a bit, because these bricks are any shape and any size, because they're old reclaims. So I'll probably run this out, plumb up, and then I'll be able to set all my windows out according. But yeah, not going too bad so far. Sand, right, let's crack on. block flat pillar to take uh, the steel which you might have seen earlier 
but turns out it was in the wrong place for when the steel's coming, it won't work with the roof. So, I'm going to do away with that and move the pillar back about 800 mil. Because we're keeping as well half the existing building and we're keeping that wall there which is kind of on the piss, it's hard to marry up like square block and brickwork to an ex like an old existing building. So things are constantly changing on this job. We did have a set of drawings. I think we used them to set the foundations out and that's about it. Since then, they've kind of gone out the window. And because planning is so strict, where are we? Derbyshire Dales. The planning is so strict that you've kind of just got to use common sense as well as keeping within what planning permission will let you do. So. Here we go. So we have just done the last mix, got it all out on the spot, spread the blocks about a bit. And this is how we're looking. We are going to get this last course on and maybe one more and then we're going to call it a day. Not done too bad for saying I'm on my own. Always on my own, no mates me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, a few more days of work and then we are off for two weeks, which I'm buzzing about. Can't wait till I break. Sand. Right, let's crack on, get this done. Fucking hell. Oh, fucking bollocks. Cut. <laughs> There we go, that is where we are leaving it for today. We took F-Ware up here as, as high as we dared, really. The blocks are just a bit too wet and it just seemed a bit too wobbly for my liking. So there's no point being greedy. We've got the nine inch uh, wall up. What's that, four, eight, eight courses. So that's ready for trestles and scaffolding. So uh, yeah, not too bad, really. So I'll be back dropping on this probably in the new year now since Monday, Tuesday, I'm going up there to finish my dog tooth gables. So yeah, sand. Anyway, I will catch you lads in the next one. Thanks a lot for liking, subscribing and all that good stuff. Have a good weekend. See you later. <laughs> this is it it's the final day i am buzzing breaking up today all i've got to do is put four courses on this nine inch wall a couple of days later from when i last filmed here all the lintels are in uh so yeah that's it just going to build this up so over christmas the lad can put his joist on there and there sound Oh, it's about minus one. It's a bit too cold to lay, but it really don't matter. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm having two weeks off, so I'm not really bothered. Sand, right, let's crack on. Here we go. So it's about nine o'clock now, and it has actually warmed up a little bit. I'm just building a little rack here, uh, and then we're just going to get this in, and then that's us done. So buzzing, just, uh, yeah, just trying to crack on, really. Not much to do, so... Sand should be home pretty early.
go. <laughs> That's a rat. <laughs> Buzzing. <laughs> there we go that is a wrap that is this year done got this wall up to joyce tight so the joyce can go on go on after christmas or i don't know during christmas but yeah that is it it's about i don't even know what time it is not even 10 o'clock yet so i'm gonna have a couple of peroni and that is this year done um yeah pretty good year done a lot of extensions done a lot of work on my own learned a lot started my youtube channel which has uh, gone really well so thanks a lot everyone for watching all the support i do really appreciate it hope you all have a really good christmas stay safe don't drink too much sad i'll catch you in the new year where hopefully i've got some big things going on might even be going on price on my own so we will see Sand. <laughs>